Today's quick riff, we're going to look at Jeff Beck and Rod Stewart duet, uh, People Get Ready from Jeff Beck's album Flash. We're in standard tuning, key of D major, let's look at the main chord progression. So the main chords themselves are relatively simple, but of course with Jeff Beck, everything he touches has uh, got that little bit of, little bit of magic. Um, you're thinking a D major, bring on a sus and, and then back. Okay, then a D on F sharp, but don't play the high string. Put your thumb on the F sharp there, second fret. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull off, you know, hit it all together with these four fingers and you're gonna pull off that D note on the third fret B string to a C sharp. A little bit of a shake on the, uh, the running bar. Okay, now we're swinging through G chord. We're gonna play the bass note with our thumb and then start it in unison, the G and the B, fourth fret G string. And then we're gonna let that ring out and hit the D on the third fret B string. You're gonna do B, D, B. Okay, then we're doing an A on a D uh, up to a D. So think of an A chord shape, it takes you that sort of that bottom, that E off. So you gotta open D string there, then you've got a two on G, two on B, and the open E string. Okay, second time round. We're gonna do a G on A here. Okay, so we've got a G, B, D, or a uh, five, four, three on the D, G, B strings. I hit that twice, then a D. Okay, in terms of sort of the phrasing, I start um, the D all for notes at the same time, but then only the treble strings for the sus part. Then straight into that D on F sharp and pull off. Okay. Okay, the verse is a sort of a variation on that. Um, we're just gonna be doing a D to a B minor seven instead of the, the D on F sharp. To a G. The A on D, D. So uh, very similar, we're just bringing in the uh, B minor seven instead. And I play, instead of playing a G that way, I just do a regular sort of a G five there. Very last time that we're going to be doing a B minor seven, E minor seven. To the G on A to, to the D. Relatively simple chords there. All right, let's have a look at uh, a quick look at the melody that he plays there. Okay, so the first part I was actually playing um, bridge and middle position on this, sort of, you know, it's humbucker. Um, but interestingly, I read on this track he used a, a Jackson guitar. I think it was sort of the first run where Jackson came out with a sort of shark tooth inlay and sort of uh, Floyd Rose. It would have been pretty funny to see Jeff Beck playing that. Um, but anyway, uh, on the melody, I went to neck pick up a little bit more, you know, reverb and delay probably than Jeff Beck was using, but I kind of like that. Um, now, when you're trying to do this melody, you're trying to follow and copy the um, the vocal melody, and that's what Jeff Beck obviously is a master at. Those uh, amazingly melodic phrasing that he that he does. It's incredible. Um, to play, you're thinking B minor pentatonic. It's really the D major pentatonic, I suppose. But everyone's going to be used to the B minor pentatonic shape. The only difference is you're going to be bringing in the G natural, which is on the eighth fret there. <laughs> So um, the melody itself, I'm going to be sliding up from the E on the ninth fret G string, hitting that G natural on the, the eighth fret. Okay. Okay. 
Second time round, I did it all with bends. Bend up a tone and then up again. Then I did a fifth. Okay, so holding D and the A there. Kind of a nice little sound there. Okay. Uh, next time I slide up into position two of that minor pentatonic. Okay, I think I did the whammy bar. A little bit of a double, double stop there, so I'm barring the 10th fret on the uh, B and uh, E strings and hammering on 12th fret on the B string. Okay, sliding, hitting the 10th fret G string and sliding down the B minor pentatonic. Now this part I tried to copy exactly the same, this sort of one little line where he bends up, gives it a shake on the, the B, 12th fret B string. And then I wanted to do a bit of whammy at the end, at the end there. And then at the end I did a, some six, so hammer on A to B and do six, so I'm doing D uh, and B. Okay, and then there's the, the uh, little melody riff thing that he does. Let's have a final look at that. Okay, that last part there, you're thinking uh, 14, 15, 17, or an A, D, A, on those top three strings. You're starting on the D, 15th fret B string. That's it, people get ready. Jeff Beck, again, a bit of a bit of magic. Simple, but not so simple. Good luck, see you next time.